Well, I'm back again to introduce yet another course. This is our seventh course of this series in the MAPI program. What is the MAPI program? That's the Master of Arts in Apologetics and Polemics to Islam. This is the degree that we began, oh, about three years ago, and there are 10 courses that we teach every eight weeks, five a year. So two in the spring, one in the summer, and two in the autumn. And this course, IS 507, is the first one of the autumn, but of course it's gonna start at just the end of the summer on August the 28th, Monday, August the 28th. This is the course that in some ways epitomizes the entire degree because the degree is an apologetics and polemics. Apologetics is defined as defending your faith. It's like a football team. You have a defense and they have to defend against the attacks coming the other direction. Polemics is going the other direction where you're then going on the offense against the other. And of course, since this whole degree is about Islam and Christianity, the defense would be of Christianity and the offense would be against Islam. I am both an apologist and a polemicist, but probably best known for my polemics because of the 25 years I spent in London at Speaker's Corner every Sunday, 1992 all the way up to 2017. Anytime I was free, uh, on a Sunday afternoon, I was down at Speaker's Corner. I have now given that ministry over to Hatun Tash, who was my colleague for three of the last years I was there. Now, apologetics and polemics is an area that most people either don't know about or don't think about or don't care about because for a lot of people, the when you hear the words apologetics and polemics, immediately you talk about conflict and confrontation. And that's why it's so... Uh, odd that we would be teaching an entire degree on it and we are the only one in the world that really has an entire degree just on apologetics and polemics to Islam. But this course is the primary course that undergirds the degree itself because now we're going to get into the nuts and bolts of exactly what apologetic is and what polemics is. How to do it, what are the best models, who are the major players, and then of course some of the best questions that can be thrown at us, how to answer them, and some of the questions we can throw at Islam. Obviously, this course is only for Christians. I know some of you, every time you get upset and you say, what about us who are, uh, who are humanists or atheists or just walking by and want to engage with Islam? This is not your course. This is not for you because we're teaching at Veritas International University, uh, which is a seminary headquartered in California, but all of this will be taught by Zoom. We do teach it by Zoom webinar every Monday night from August the 28th, this course especially, up until uh, October the 16th. Every Monday night, starting at 8 o'clock in the evening, East Coast time, because we are on the East Coast, uh, Dr. Daniel Janasik, who will not be doing the lectures. I will be doing the lectures, but he'll be helping me with all the background and all the technical uh, needs. We both live on the East Coast, and most of the students do live on the East Coast United States. Nonetheless, we do teach it, uh, and the lectures will go from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock every Monday evening, starting on August the 28th up to October the 16th. But then we open it up to Q&A. And that's where you get to engage with us. And that's one of the great things about this whole degree. Every course we teach live. We teach it live because we want to make sure that we're not only uh, teaching you what we know, but hearing what you're finding and seeing how you use it in your different locales around the world, which means many of you who are listening are from other countries in other places. You don't have to come to the United States. You can either stay up late at night if you're in Europe or Africa or even further afield over in Asia, you will, or you can get it the next day. The very next day, I will be sending you the lecture and also the PowerPoints. And I know many of you like the PowerPoints. So you need to register right away as soon as you can. Uh, and because we're starting on August the 28th in just a few weeks, you need to register by emailing info at ves.edu. Let me repeat that. Info 
at ves.edu. Now, let's go through each one of these, and then I'll just uh, unpack the different levels that you can take this at. At the very beginning, at the very beginning, we're going to start from the first night. That's August the 28th, Monday night at 8 o'clock. We're going to look at and define the need for apologetics polemics, why we need it, why it's important, why is it that people do not want to do it. Certain groups, certain peoples, certain churches, even uh, certain mission groups would not use apologetics and polemics. So we're going to unpack why is it, what is their reticence, uh, what is it that, that they don't like about apologetics and polemics. Uh, looking and showing also how it should be employed or how it should not be employed, both apologetics and polemics, because they're good apologetics and there's bad apologetics, and the same goes for polemics. The second week, then, we're going to go into a historical overview of Islam's polemical agenda. And this is the more radical, conservative Islam. They are the ones that use both apologetics and polemics from, against us. So we're going to look at that agenda, uh, the, the, especially in context with Christianity. We're not interested in what Islam does with other groups or even with atheists and humanists. Really, what and why is it they're doing it against us? and why it's essential for conservative and radical Muslims to use both apologetics and polemics. And then what should be our response to them when they do engage us at that level? For the third lecture, we're going to look at major missiological methods employed by Christians and Muslims. We're going to look at the traditional methods, including the Iranic method, the uh, program method, many of the different, some of the groups such as the insider movement, uh, some of the camel method. We're going to look at dialogue, and then we're also going to look at debates. And we're looking to then end with the, what we call the confrontational method or the polemical method. Looking at the advantages and the disadvantages for each one of these different methodologies. The fourth week, then, we go and look at a biblical support. Is there a biblical support? Can we find examples of this in the Bible with Jesus' ministry or with the disciples' ministry or with Paul's ministry? And then we're going to go and kind of do a survey right through historically, uh, looking and seeing where it was used in the 7th to the 19th century. That we're going to put in one block. And then from the 19th century to modern day, the 21st century, because things did change around the 19th century with apologetics and polemics. And we're on the other end of that. Uh, and then we'll look at some of the primary historical examples, both uh, certainly of Christians historically who have used apologetics and polemics. So that's the fourth week. The fifth week, then, we're going to look at modern 21st century examples of apologetics and polemics. And by this I mean who are the primary protagonists, both in Islam and also in Christianity. Who are the main players? Who are the ones that are actually using and employing it? And how do they do that? We're going to then look at different models of debating, for especially debating, university debates, parliamentary style debates, populist debates, looking at impromptu debates or radio debates, internet debates, and these debates that we do, these what we call five-minute debates. So we're going to show you how they can be used and where they should be used and where they should not be used. That's the fifth week. For the sixth week, then, we're going to look at apologetics, zero in on apologetics, and look at the major questions, 20 to 30 major questions that are hitting us as Christians. How do you answer them in five to ten minutes? Because that's all you're going to give. Some of us, in fact, sometimes you only get two minutes to answer them. So we're going to unpack what are the best methods for doing that. And I've had 40 years of doing just that. 40 years of engaging week after week after week in the most public of environments, Speaker's Corner, there at Hyde Park. We're then going to go the next week, which is the seventh week. Look at the other way, looking at taking the questions to the Muslims. And these are FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions from a polemical standpoint. So what are the best questions we can throw at the Muslims? How are how we can use them? What works? What doesn't work? This is my area of expertise. This is where I love the most because I've been doing it for so long. My goodness, since the uh, last century, 1980s, it kind of it kind of dates me. You can see by my gray hair that I've been doing this for an awful long time. So that's the seventh week. And then finally, the last week, we're going to bring it all together. We're going to come to conclusions and say, what is it about Muslim, uh, Muslim work? What is it about engaging with Muslims face-to-face, -face, engaging of them both, taking on their questions and answering them, and then responding in kind? What is it about it that works or doesn't work? And why possibly have so many people not 
done it. And why is it we're so far behind the Muslim world who do love it, engage with it? Because it really has to do with their culture. Now, you do need to register for this course. It starts at 8 o'clock on the 28th of August. That's just coming up in a few Mondays. You need to email info at ves dot edu that's what you need to do register and there are three areas you can register in if you want to take it for full credit for full master's degree credit you have to have a bachelor's degree to do so but if you want to take it for a master's degree then you will continue you will do the the eight lectures and be at the lectures but you will also be up on populate and, and we have that platform where you can discuss, and we will be having discussions throughout the week, not only on the reading material, but also on the lectures themselves, week by week by week by week by week. At a master's degree level, then you also have to write up about what you're reading. There, are, there will be reading assignments, and you have to write a final paper, which is usually six questions, and then a final paper itself. That's what's required if you're taking it as a full-time master's degree student. This will be three credits, and each credit is costs about 330, so roughly around $1,000 you will need to pay for that master's credit for this course, IS 507. But you don't have to take it for master's degree. There are many of you who would rather just listen to the lectures, read the books, engage with the PDFs, and engage also on popular because you can also engage with the other students for the discussions during the week. And that is not as expensive because you're not writing anything. I don't have to read anything. And Daniel doesn't have to read anything or grade any of your papers. And that's called audit. So if you want to do it for a, as an audit student, it only costs $280 for the entire course, which is very cheap. Now, there are others who are overseas or you're, you don't really want to engage during the week. You don't want to be part of the discussions. You would just rather do it for personal enrichment. You just want to show up on a Monday and you want to listen to the lecture and get the PowerPoints or you want to get it the next day when I send it to you if you're fast asleep in another country. For that, that's personal enrichment. And for personal enrichment students, it's only $225 for the course. So there are three levels, three levels. For those who are doing master's degree, uh, here at the top, it's $330 per credit, but there are three credits, so that would be roughly around $1,000. And then for the audit students, uh, that only costs $285 for the entire eight-week course. And then, of course, for those who are doing it for personal enrichment, it only costs $225. Great. Well, listen, we'd love to see as many of you as possible. I'm going to be there all eight weeks, so will Dr. Daniel Janasik be there all eight weeks, and we will be certainly learning together about teaching you, but also we will be engaging with you and making sure that we equip you to be able to face Muslims face-to-face, -face, both apologetically and polemically. You do need to register. There's the registration right there at the bottom of the screen. Come and join us. Let's get started. Hope to see as many of you as possible on Monday, August the 28th. This is Jaden. Over and out. Mm -hmm.